<clears throat> Jeremy, what are you doing? <clears throat> Celebrating Easter. I said we should make it funny, not eat bunnies. <gasps> Everybody, happy Easter! It is so exciting to be here. And you know what? Since like we're not at school and most of us aren't working from our normal places, it makes sense that we're in a completely, totally different studio. But hey, happy Easter. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? I love Easter. And as a matter of fact, it is honestly the most important holiday. More important than like Halloween or there, we kind of July? celebrate both with candy. Um, we don't typically do Easter fireworks, but yeah, way more important, even way more important than Christmas. <gasps> Jennifer, I would go as far as to say it is even more important than your birthday. <gasps> no way. Yeah, it is totally. And you know what? Let me prove it to you. Prove it. Today's Bible story! <laughs> Jesus was crucified and died on the cross. After he died, a rich man named Joseph came and asked for Jesus' body so that they could put him in a tomb. <laughs> After burying Jesus underground, they rolled a big rock. Jeremy, <laughs> what are you doing? This doesn't even make sense. You said it was big rock. I meant like a big stone. That, yeah, that actually makes more sense, sorry. In addition to the stone, a guard of soldiers were also placed in front of the tomb. Way too easy. <laughs> Three days later, there was a violent earthquake and an angel of the Lord appeared. The guards were terrified, and they fainted. <laughs> Mary, Jesus' mother, and some other women went to the tomb to put perfume on his body, and they saw the angel, and it said, I know that you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. Don't be afraid, but he's not here. Come look at where his body was laid. Mary and the women went to tell the disciples that Jesus was alive. And I'm going to push this button out because you're making me nervous. Ah! Whoa, put that down. Man, that was crazy today. So Easter is so important because Jesus is alive. Mm -hmm. And that sets up our big idea today. Jesus rose from the dead so I can find a new life in him. So the crazy part of this story, just to go ahead, is Jesus was totally dead. Like, <clears throat> Jeremy, are you okay? He's just pretending. I'm just pretending. But Jesus was totally dead and then rose and came back alive. Now this is crazy. This is why Easter is so important. And it's the whole foundation of the Christian faith that Jesus died on the cross, went into the tomb for three days, and then he rose again. And our big idea that because Jesus is alive, he gives us new life, sets up the fact that you and me and all of us are born spiritually dead. Now that sounds weird, but it just means that spiritually we're not alive. And when Jesus becomes our Lord and Savior, we become spiritually alive. So we go from dead to alive. Like he did physically, we do spiritually. Now, to help our friends understand this, Jennifer, I would like to offer you a challenge. Are you ready? Sure. It's an Easter challenge. All We're right. going to hunt for something amazing Easter. I think you're going to like this one. All right, I'm in. All right, Jennifer, challenge time. Now, today we're celebrating Easter, and so we're going to celebrate the way a lot of people do with an Easter egg hunt. But unlike a lot of Easter egg hunts, this Easter egg's not going to sit still. I'm going to be moving it around. Oh, and by the way, you're going to be wearing a blindfold. So if you want to put that blindfold on, and then you can see the egg may be just uh, right over here on the ground, or it may be up here in the air. So let's go ahead and get your blindfold on. Um, get that all tucked down. Can you see? 
No. Hold on, let's test. <laughs> All right, so Jennifer, I'm gonna go three, two, one, and I want you to try to find the Easter egg. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Come back this way. Oh, you're hitting lights. Oh, what is that? What's going on? Oh, okay. All right, you're close. Oh, ow, okay. All done. This is too dangerous. Oh, okay. This is too dangerous. Stop. Remove your blindfold. Yeah. So, all right. You can see this was absolutely crazy, and I was a little bit nervous you were going to knock our set down. You can see the swinging lights. So, let's just real fast. Let's try this one more time. This time, leave your blindfold off. So I want you to try to get this Easter egg in three, two, one, go. Yeah, super easy. All right, nice work. You kind of won the second challenge. We'll talk about it in just a second. All right, so Jennifer, on the second time you did get the Easter egg, so I want you to know you're welcome to have as much of my Easter candy as you want. Um, but I, I wanna say, like, when you had the blindfold on, you couldn't find what you were looking for. And we're talking about Christ giving us new life. When we place our faith in him as Lord and Savior, he gives us new life. And so before, when you had the blindfold on, it was one way. And then all of a sudden, when the blindfold comes off, it's another. When we're saved by grace through our faith in Jesus, it's just like that. So would you open up and share Ephesians 2.5 with our friends today? Open your Bible or read along with Jen on the screen. So he gave us new life because of what Christ has done. He gave us life even when we were dead in sin. God's grace has saved you. Mm. Easter is the most important holiday because Jesus defeated death when he rose again when he came back to life and he's alive now. And just like that verse says, he wants to give us new life. And we don't have to do anything for it. Unlike the Easter egg hunt I had you go on, but you don't have to chase after it, you just have to receive it. And so it comes time for a discussion. I've got your first discussion question, it's this. How does your life look different because Jesus is alive today? Press pause. And discuss. Great discussion. Now I've got another one for you. After watching this episode, can you think of any other ways that you and your family can celebrate Easter? Press pause. And discuss. Can I still have candy? Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. I hope you realize that Easter is the most amazing, most important holiday, and I hope you celebrate it well. We cannot wait to be back with you guys. God bless, see you next week. See ya. But as they approached, I forgot my lot. All right, Mac, we good? Mac, are we good?